Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travel. So if you're watching my lifestyle channel, welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle. Um, it's um, a sunny but uh, cloudy day today. Um, I think it's uh, 25 uh, Celsius it's, it's supposed to be. Um, so it's warm and um, it's sunny but it's all, also cloudy. So we may get some rain later on um i don't know but hopefully not um so yes it's a nice uh, day today um today i'm going to be doing uh, a review on a uh, great yarmouth and um, the re resort that i i stayed in in norfolk so um hi if you're new here to my channel my name's rebecca and I love uh, talking about uh, travel and lifestyle. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, and um, you, you can. Uh, it, it's free to comment below. So, if you want to do that, also uh, share. Um, it'd be really wonderful. But um, thank you for visiting the channel anyway. And I'm going to crack on uh, with. Uh, great uh, the great yarmouth in-depth review starting now um the beach at uh, great yarmouth um is a beautiful long sa uh, sandy beach um and um a variety of activities that you can do you can sunbathe um obviously swim in the sea and uh, for children that can uh, do artwork or co uh, create sand castles um, also um, on the beach um, Or not far from the beach, and um, children. Um, there's some children's activities. Um, uh, like trampolines and um, etc. Um, and um, also, there's uh, plenty of um, uh, souvenir shops and. Um, like gift shops um, or shops in general in Great Yarmouth to choose from. Um, also, um, uh, there's a promenade as well where you can walk um, up and down and um, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, it's easy to get down the beach, it's just um, a few um, steps um, to get down and and then uh, you're actually on the beach and also um, there's two piers in Great Yarmouth there's the Wellington Pier and uh, there's um, also the Britannia Pier now the Britannia Pier in Great Yarmouth um, has, even though it wasn't open, a bit of a theme park um, at the end, like um, a ghost train. Um, but I would think that would be open at now, it, like July, August time. And um, there's also a theatre and that you can it, see lots of stars on the Britannia Beer as well as um, a, games, a games room um, or different types of games that you can play. Um, also the pit here you could uh, do something like fishing on and there's seats um, available as well um, again you can walk on the pier and you can get some stunning views of the sea and uh, Great Yarmouth which is absolutely lovely and fantastic 
um, also there's like little kiosks at shops especially at the front now at the side of the Britannia Pier um, there's um, a younger ch children's like theme park um, it, it's quite smallish it has um, like a a junior roller coaster called Spooks um, and um, other bits and pieces um, and that looks absolutely fantastic um, I think uh, when I was a child if I did go, uh, actually get to go on that I think I'd be very excited because um, I don't know I, I just think it looks very exciting junior roller coaster that has some outdoor and indoor elements to it. Um, also, I think there's other like water rides as well. And also uh, going uh, further down towards the Wellington Pier, um, you have got the model village um, and their cafe. And there's all... Um, and there's also a large uh, w um, big wheel um, that you can pay to go on. I think I'll probably go on that, like that the next time I go to Great Yarmouth. And um, f uh, further down, there's also the Sea Life Aquarium as well um again um it looks big and uh, good really good um so um if i was traveling say out of season and it was raining it's um a very handy thing to have um there's also lots of other museums um as well as the model f at village um, in great at uh, Great Yarmouth, so uh, th there is uh, plenty of shelter um, if it does start raining. Also, there's um, the Wellington Pier and that has like a casino and a games area and oh, um, just to skip back uh, the Brita on the Britannia Pier. There's also a pub as well. Um, which um, is very not, uh, nice to go into. Um, I went and had a walk out um, the first night that I wa was at, at Great Yarmouth. And yes, the pub was um, re reasonably nice, a couple of pubs. Um, so moving on back to the Wellington Pier again, um, Again, there's some seats on the Wellington Pier. There's um, a kiosk. Um, and, look, well, where you can buy food. Um, there's also fish and chip shops um, all around uh, Great Yarmouth. Um, or, um, like, seafood, like, kiosks etc so lots of places where you can um buy food um moving on uh from the wellington uh, pier the place where i visited which um i'm going to do a more in-depth uh, view on um in a separate video next week is uh, going to be um uh basically uh, uh, the largest uh, great yarmouth uh, theme park um which is for older well young children all ages really and adults but i think it caters more for older children and results uh, rather than the theme park um that's at the side of Britannia Pier and I think that caters more for for younger children 
Um, so, yes. Um, there's also on the Wellington Pier bowling um, and, uh, well, diff different sorts of games. Um, so, which is really interesting and really cool. And um, there's also like a nature reserve or and gardens at uh, Great Yarmouth, which is the other end, um, which is further up from the the Patania Pier. And uh, you've also got some beautiful Italian uh, gardens. I've also done a. Uh, footage video on that um, as well as I've done footage video on the Wellington Britannia Pier and um, basically cafes on, on the beach etc and um, yes it, they've got a, it's a really beautiful um, experience like the Italian gardens and the day before they had an event there which had a lot of people um, around and yes um, it was very cool and beautiful um, it was raining uh, when I was uh, fil uh, filming the video but even so it was still every bit very beautiful and the marsh area was around there as well which Again, it's stunning to look at. Um, and yes, there's lots of seats around there. There's a cafe um, around there. Um, the Italian gardens. And there's like a boating lake as well. So, yes, um, lots of things to do in and seeing Great Yarmouth um, as I say for nightlife um, there's lots of restaurants at, um, and in the daytime cafes to choose from around the beachfront and in town as well as for shops uh, that is uh, lots of shops but again uh, there are uh, some empty shops like um, a lot of towns and um, in the UK um so and there's um, like two shopping centers um in great yarmouth um so yes um they're very exciting to see and uh, look at um especially the the modern uh, shopping center and yes, uh, there's also parks for children to play on as well. So again, there's a lot of things to do for people all ages. There's also a casino, um, not just in the Britannia Pier, but a gross of a casino um, around, uh, down that way as well. And yes there's lots of um games at centers and um to basically play on and entertain yourself and your family and um also museums as well to go and visit uh, around there and uh, some art galleries so yes a wide variety to do and if you do get um, rain then there's activities that you can uh, you can do um, so you don't have to stay in your hotel room um, and my hotel was across um, fr straight across from the Britannia Pier you just had to cross the road um, so yes um, it was very nice, very um, very nice to see and look at, and um, it did remember. I do remember some of the 
activities that I would have probably I've gone and done my brother and myself um, as a child um, so I would and one other thing um, transport um, is uh, very good there's lots of uh, buses um, to go to d uh, different um, towns and v uh, villages and different places in Norfolk so that's um, really good um, and again a variety of accommodation and um, consisting of um, lots of different um, hotels and uh, bed and breakfasts and um, apartments um, like camping all sorts all sorts even though like the campsites and uh, golf courses and um, Great Yarmouth racing track is outside of just a bit outside of Great Yarmouth still in Great Yarmouth um, but again you can get um, taxis and buses um, up to those places if you uh, want uh, to go to those uh, places and uh, yeah, uh, yes it's just um, a, f a fun I've really enjoyed it and um, I had a brilliant time so I would like to say thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow for another review and um, that's going to be a review on the Norfolk Broad so I I hope everybody's having as good day as possible and thank you and bye for now. Thank you. Bye.